Hey, it's Cindy. This is another blind mom hack video and it's all about the laundry room. So stay tuned to find out the tricks and hacks I use as a legally blind mom to make this process easier and more efficient. All right, before we dive into my small laundry room back here, I have to first say I do use detergent pods. I know these are no secret, they've been around for years, and I started using these when I became a mom doing tons of laundry. So since I'm legally blind, these really do help me because I don't have to measure out the detergent liquid anymore and figure out how to get that into my washing machine without making a mess. So these have improved my process. So I start with a detergent pod. Now let's move into my laundry room so you can see where the real hacks are. Welcome to my small laundry room. I'm just grateful I have a dedicated space really. Before we get started into the main hacks that I have, which is on my laundry station, AKA dryer, uh, I wanna share this tip with you. And it is when you're out shopping for your kids' clothes, like at Target or any place like that, sometimes they will ask you if you want to keep the hanger. And I always say yes now, because they're super useful, especially when they come with the pant hooks, like this one um, attached to the hanger. So it's all one unit and it's easy to keep your sets together and organized in your kid's closet. So this has been super helpful for me, plus they're free. So as your kid's clothing size changes, typically these hangers that they come with are the appropriate size. So it's nice because I don't have to keep buying new sizes for their clothes, at least hangers anyway. Okay, um, I know a lot of blind moms, by the way, do pin the shirt with the pants when they're going to wash them and dry them, and that's how they keep track of what pants go with what shirt. I also, though, find this pretty useful. As my daughter's gotten older, sometimes shirts and things just don't come in sets. So I just buy a lot of black leggings or charcoal gray or just dark colored solid leggings. And that way, any shirt that she wants to wear now that she's starting to get more interested in what she wears each day, whatever she chooses as her top, I know it's most likely always gonna go with a pair of dark leggings. So when I get them out of the dryer, I will go ahead and put them on one of these plastic hangers that I got. I know they're plastic, they're not you know, fancy or anything like that, but hey, I mean, I'm a legally blind mom, I'm just trying to do what works. These work. So I will put them on these hangers that I get from the store and it just helps keep those together and organized in their closet. And then in the mornings, it's just a lot more efficient because I just pull the hanger off and get her dressed and we're ready for the day. Now let's move to the actual station and I'll show you some more hacks there. Okay, welcome to my laundry station. Super impressive, right? Before I started this load of laundry, I went ahead and pulled out some examples of this little gadget that I use, and it is a sock lock. I just ordered these on Amazon. When you move from doing just your load of laundry to a family's load of laundry, you discover that matching all their little socks and gloves and all that stuff gets more difficult and tedious and really makes the process of laundry more frustrating. These I use pretty often as much as I can. It's great because it keeps their socks paired as they go through the wash and dryer. I know a lot of blind moms use all white socks to avoid this issue. However, we are gifted for Christmas and birthdays, you know, different colored socks and things like that. And you know, we'll pick them up on sale, yada, yada, yada. So this is just how I have solved this problem and it does work. I, I have enjoyed the sock lock um, gadget. The only drawback to this kind of system is you have to remember to put the socks on the lock before they go into the dirty hamper. It, it Again, you know, if you're trying to put them on before you put them in the washing machine, you're trying to sift through the dirty clothes to match them up. And again, that becomes a tedious process. So 
trying to remember to do so as soon as you take them off your kids' feet at night or if they're like my kids and they like to take them off themselves, as you're cleaning up, try to match then and before you throw them in the dirty hamper, put them on a lock. It does make the process easier as you're pulling things out of the dryer. They're already matched, paired up. So super simple, easy, my kind of game. I also use the sock locks on gloves. Um, these are a pair of gloves that I need to wash. My kids got kind of crusty outside. So this is just a little organizing bin I keep up here. And let me find one that's ready to go. These, I'll show you how they work. You just stick the glove on one side and then the other, and there you go. They're ready to go through the wash and dryer, matched up. Awesome. This is a little organization bin that I use. I think it's like a lunch container thing that, you know, we ordered too many of. So I use it for my laundry materials. So lock socks are on one side and in this little container over here, I actually have a laundry bag. I did not use these prior to having kids. I didn't really need to. However, when you have kids, it does help to have another layer of organization. These are kind of color coded. I don't know if you can tell, but they have a pink zipper here, which you know I can pick up in good lighting. There's other ways you can label these as well, but I will put my daughter's, you know, delicates, dresses and underwear, things like that in here. And my son's, I have a blue one that's actually being used right now a blue one that I'll put his small, you know, delicates and things in just to kind of help again sort and make the process a lot easier and efficient when I bring things out of the dryer. All right, moving on. So this, these are my detergent pods over here. Oh guys, this. So I get super frustrated that fabric softener does not always come in the pod form like the detergent so this i think is a grove collaborative you know uh, bottle I, I think i had soap or something in this pump bottle but i always save all of my pump bottles because these are just perfect for various things throughout the house including fabric softener so this helps me measure and i don't have to make a mess or anything like that when i'm adding fabric softener to my washing machine I know exactly how many pumps for a normal load and if it's a small load I'll do a you know one less pump or if it's a big load I'll add an extra pump so this just helps me measure without using any site it's super simple easy hack here guys so save your pump bottles that you get soaps and things like that in because they can be used for a lot of other products like fabric softener Moving on, this huge container over here, this was a huge, you know, bulk, I don't know, Costco or Amazon thing that we, we use all the pods in. But again, I saved these containers as well because they have the child safety lock tops. That way I know I can store things inside and my kids can't get to them. So in this container is actually shower caps. And this is another hack I use, so stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you why I have a bunch of shower caps in this container. <laughs> All right, you made it to my last hack. So here's my shower cap container, and as you can see, it's actually being used. <laughs> we went to the playground yesterday and it was a bit muddy. So my kids know when we come in from the garage and our, if we have anything on our shoes, we take them off and we immediately put one of these shower bags, or excuse me, shower caps around the shoe so that as the mud and debris and dirt falls off, it falls to the bottom of the shower cap and not my floor. So it really does help keep my house and this mud room slash laundry room area so much cleaner. I learned this trick, I think, off of another YouTube channel or Google, I wish I knew where, about, I don't know, six months or a year ago. And it this trick works, I highly recommend it. So I just grabbed a bunch of shower caps, super cheap, disposable off of Amazon, and yeah, this, this hack really does work. My phone just died after that last hack. 
perfect timing, right? Plus my kids are calling me. So hopefully if you learned something, guys, you will like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.